happen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to move on to the second talk today. And the speaker is Chloe Xiao, special assistant to the founder of GTN CleanTech. Over to you, Chloe. Good afternoon. My name is Chloe. I'm going to present our company, GTN CleanTech. The purpose of this talk is to deliver how we upcycle the agricultural waste into eco-friendly product. Over the next 10 minutes, I will be covering two parts. The first part is preface, and the second part is company's philosophy. Let me tell you a story first. In the living world, there is no landfills. Instead, materials flows. One species waste is another's food. Things grow, then die, and nutrients return to the soil safely, and it works. As humans, we have adopted a linear approach. We take, we make, and we dispose. For example, the new iPhone 12 comes up, so we ditch the old one. Each time we do this, we are eating into a finite supply of resources and often producing toxic waste. It simply can't work long term. If we accept that the living world's like cyclical models works, can we change our way of thinking so that we too operate a circular economy? So how can our waste build capital rather than reduce it by rethinking and redesigning product? We can create safe and compostable materials that help grow more stuff. So GTN rethinks the way we make things and decide compostable materials to replace plastic one. We come up from the vision, waste equals food, keeping all waste in continuous cycle. Our co-design com concept of product dedicate, dedicate to solving two problems. First, solve the waste problem. Did you know that humans drink 850 billion cup of coffee and produce 25 billion kilogram coffee grounds a year? Most of spent coffee grounds are dumped into the landfills. But waste equals food. GTN designed a breakthrough technology. We collaborate with the local cafe to recycle their coffee grounds and turn them into coffee straws and coffee cupcakes and send back to the cafe. After use, they will return to the soil and naturally decompose into nutrient. They will nourish coffee plant light and create a story about the coffee ground circular economy. Second, solve the single-use plastic problem. We roughly produce 300 million tons of plastic each year, and half of it is single-use. Most of our plastic end up in landfills, our oceans, and the environment. In 2015, the video of a sea turtle with plastic straws stuck in its nostrils opened up the mind of millions of people, helping launch the anti-single-use plastic straws movement. We agree and support the ban on single-use plastic straws. So in 2018, we launched our first product, eco-friendly straws. 
By doing so, we not only solve the waste problem of coffee consumption, but also solve the single-use plastic pollution. Let me introduce our product's advantage. For the price, our price is competitive in international market. For the sake, unlike paper and rice straws, it allows customer to, in, to enjoy their beverage for a whole day without straws getting soggy. For hard drinks, our heat resistance can resist up to 90 degrees, suitable for cold and hard drinks. For chewable, if you use to chew straws, our price, uh, our product is your best choice. For compostable, waste equals food. We keep all waste in continuous cycle. Now, we not only use coffee grounds, but also use very from baguettes, bamboo, tea residue to rice husk. We see an exciting applicability in fiber, in plant fiber. And with them, we can manufacture things from single-use drawers, cutlery, and cupcakes. From, from November 2018, so far, we have been sold to five continents and more than 20 countries and have saved over 300 million plastic straws from polluting the earth. The public and the government throughout the globe have become more educated on environmental issues and plastic crisis. While the banning of single-use plastic will certainly not solve the climate change, it's a simple step that will lead us on a brighter path. GTN recognize and support global plastic reduction actions and aim to shape a most sustainable, sustainable world together. Lastly, let me take a look at the, circular, the coffee ground circular economy. Have you ever imagined that drinking a cup of coffee could save the earth? People start their day with a cup of coffee and cafes serve customers all day long. Our daily routine seems ordinary, but there are a group of people trying to do something different. Consider this. Cafes could collect the discarded coffee grounds consumed each day and hand them over to a team called Jutian Cleantech. Jutian Cleantech is a Taiwanese startup that develops eco-friendly materials and products from waste because of the awareness on plastic pollution and waste. Each cup of coffee can produce 20 grams of coffee grounds. Jutian Cleantech uses coffee grounds to make 20 coffee straws and two coffee cup lids. The coffee straws and coffee lids are sent back to the coffee shop. So far, we've saved over 200 million straws from polluting the earth. After the use, the straw can return to the soil and naturally decompose into nutrients. They will nourish the plant life and create a story about the coffee ground's circular economy. Join us and create a coffee ground story together. So, it's our our story about the coffee ground circular economy. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much to Chloe and thank you to Ju Tian for doing its part to make our world greener and more sustainable. And uh, next time you're looking for some eco-friendly straws, you know which company to go to. It's GTN Cleantech.